Shalom family, God bless you. This is your girl, Prophetic Intercession with Amel, and I'm pleased to have you here again on this platform. If this is the first time you're seeing me, thank you so much for deciding to click on this video. I pray it blesses you in the name of Jesus. And if this is not your first time, thank you family for always coming back. I love you and I pray for you always. And so this morning, God brought something to my mind and it got me thinking and I thought to share it with us. You know, sometimes we, 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 we are not supposed to do things just how we feel or how we see it, but we are supposed to react the way Jesus would if he were in that place. We are called to live the life of Christ here on earth. We are called to represent Christ here on earth. You know, I always say, we are the only Bible some people ever have the opportunity to read because they don't study the Bible, they don't want to read the Bible, they don't even want to hear about Christianity, but they'll read your life as a Christian and know if that Jesus you're talking about is worth following or not. Whenever you find yourself in any situation, whatsoever that may be, one of the first things to always do so that you keep yourself in check is to ask yourself, what will Jesus do in this situation? The WWJD approach. What will Jesus do? You know, the apostles, the Bible makes us understand that they were first called Christians in Antioch. They did not call themselves Christians. Some people saw how they were behaving, saw how they went about doing their things, and they could identify that they were following a particular pattern. That was the pattern of Jesus. And so they said, those people are Christians. It means they are Christ-like. You've got to represent the God you are serving well. You've got to represent the God you are serving well because that is the only Bible someone may ever read and repent and give their hearts to Christ. Whenever you find yourself in a challenge, doesn't matter how complex it is, find time to breathe and ask yourself, what will Jesus do? What would he do in this circumstance? If what he would do is contrary to how you're feeling, kill that emotion, suppress that emotion. It, it will only lead you to danger. It will only lead you to hurt. It will only lead you to harm. If what Jesus would do is contrary to what you are feeling, trash it. It is not important. It is not important. What will Jesus do? WWJD. Don't you ever forget that, please. Put that at the back of your mind. Anywhere you are, whatever you do, always remember that you are here representing Jesus. And when you do something evil, they are going to shame him. They will say, look at that one. She calls herself a Christian. Look at what she's doing. Is that what Jesus would do? Is that what this Christianity is all about? No, you are an ambassador. You are an ambassador of Christ. You represent God here on earth. You are an ambassador. And people will take anything that happens to your life, happens in your life, to either glorify God or to mock God. If you have that consciousness, you're going to tread carefully. You'll be more careful in your decision making. You'll be more careful in everything you're doing, knowing that you're trying as much as you can to represent God the right way. What will Jesus do in that situation? I don't know whatever situation you find you find yourself in right now, and I don't know what your resolution is, what you have decided to do, but run it through this test. Run it through this. What will Jesus do? If it is contrary to what Jesus would do, then trash it. It is not wise to do that. It's going to backfire, or it will hurt you, or it's going to hurt the kingdom of God. You don't want to be among the people that causes hurt in the body of Christ, would you? I pray this word helps you live right. I pray it helps you, it gives you good decision making. It helps you make good decisions in the name of Jesus. You shall not be swept away by emotions, but you shall always run every emotion by this word so that you will stay in check, so that you're going to represent Jesus well and that he will be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. God bless you. Shalom.